and welcome on Canal Do English. And the program is The Forum. Our guest today is Chile. Chile is a musician that plays folk music. And this is not the first time that she has been, uh, she is coming here as a guest of the program. Last year she was here. And this year, again, she's about, and she's with us. What is she going to tell us new from what she, which will be different from what she had already told us? Those are the reasons why we decided to bring her once again here as our guest. Please do not go away. As I announced at the introduction of this program, we are receiving today Chile. Chile is a rising star, a woman, and very intelligent and pretty. And the one particularity, personally, that I like with her is that she's singing folk music. Whereas today, most girls or people of her age turn to world music. And once again, before going to the nitty gritty of why she's here, it's a pleasure to have you here on board once again, uh, Chile. Same here. Okay, and now the question is, when I say Chile, right? That's your stage name. Yes. And your full names are? Fonye Claudette. Fonye Claudette. Fonye Claudette Mbinka. Mbinka. It's a pleasure to have you here today. It's my pleasure. All right. Now, the thing is, last year, if I am not wrong, I received you here, and you sang the music from your region. You are from Bui Division, if I'm not wrong. Bui Division. Yeah. In So, right? Precisely in Kumbo. Yes. Okay. And you sang your folk music, which, if I'm not wrong, correct me if I am, that it, you learned it or inherited it from your grandparents or grandmother precisely. Grandmother precisely. Good. Now that you are here today, right, mm -hmm. are you here to tell us how far you've gone? Are you also here to tell us that, right, you now have a new uh, product <laughs> on the market? Or what are you here for? Okay, thank you. It's a pleasure being here once more. I'm here because I have a lot of things to tell my fans. First of all, I'm so happy to face my fans this morning again because I have been doing a lot of work for them. Okay, uh, two months ago, Chile came back from the U.S. after her U.S. tour. Thanks to my first album that you all loved and actually encouraged me in various ways and prayed for me. And to that effect, I was invited to the U.S. by the Bui Family Union at their annual convention. And while there, I was opportune to, to share stage and perform in around 15 uh, international festivals like the Pan-African Festival in Washington, D.C like the AfriFest in Houston, Texas, and like the World African Music Festivals. So, and lots of others. In all of these festivals, I was uh, representing our unique cultural heritage. You are representing a unique cultural heritage of the Sok people, right? And Cameroon. And Cameroon. As a, a nation. But you were invited there by the Bui Union. Yes, the Bui Union. Good. Now, apart, besides going to stage uh, in Washington, D.C., Houston, and perhaps other cities in the United States, mm -hmm. here in Cameroon, Yes. which are the cities where you have performed, or towns and localities? Okay, my first album, which I titled My Heritage, mm -hmm. I happened to have a tour. I had a tour with the first album, and I, I visited around seven regions in Cameroon, which I started from, from Kumbo, my hometown. And in that concert, we termed it the Chile homecoming. I went to Kumbo. From Kumbo, I came to Bamenda, went to Bafusam, Kiamunde, Douala. I went to Boya, Limbe. So uh, it was a, a success. I it was a success? Yes. And now tell me, because I said at the introduction that you are not like ordinary young stars. Most of your peers are in world music, right? Really, for real. And why is it that you opted to go in for something which is, in code, not very trendy? I know, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, one thing is that I believe in, I believe in Africa. I believe in who we are. I believe in our identity. And I think what can make us stand out, what can make us unique, who we are, is, is where we come from. 
and that identity that nobody has in the world. So after gaining a lot of inspiration from my grandmother, who used to sing great songs of old We Babin, and other songs of the salt land, and actually enjoying them, I asked myself, after this, what next? Does it remain just within us, these beautiful sounds and rhythms, this beautiful regalia, like the cap I'm putting on today? Does it end just within the South community? Does it end just in the Northwest region? Uh, and the answer is no. The world needs to listen to it. The world needs to see it. And I, I took that bold step to go back home after my university studies in, in Yaoundé 1. I went to Kumbo. I had enough time to really ask questions about this, our unique sounds and, and, and rhythms, meet all the people, and I did a lot of research about it. I came up with my first album. So I think I just have the passion. You just have the passion. To reveal our cultural heritage to the world. To the world. Now, what has been the reaction of some of your friends? Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember this day when I was in the University of Yaoundé. The one that was my first level, and we had a party and saw all the youth student party. That is the NASU. And that day I was performing. I was dressed in my cultural, cultural outfit. Then I had to perform a traditional music like Njang. I told my friends that when I go on stage, they should come and accompany me, you know. And when I went on stage, most of those, my young friends, uh, nobody came on stage because... <laughs> they could not fully read them that you had, right? Yes, you know, they, want, they associated with more of R&B, mm -hmm. hip-hop, and Afro-pop. Afro-pop, yeah. So I came back to the roots, but they were so amazed to see that the whole... Now tell me, uh, did you grow up in so, hold on, so in Kumbo, right? Yes. So is the language, isn't it? Yes. There's nothing like So is the land. The land. And Lam So is the language. It's the language. Mm -hmm. Which means so the entire Bui division is in So land. Yes. And then the Lam So is the language spoken by the people of the Bui. Yeah, Bui division is actually made up of three, uh, let me say, departments and Nornid and so, mm -hmm. and the, the Oku All right. subdivisions. But, so the, pre but the predominant language is the so, Lamso so, language. So is part of Bui. Yes. And in Bui, we have Oku, Noni, and, and So. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So in So, we have Lamso. Lam the Nornis, who are part of the Bui, they have their own. Yeah. But and we are all. They speak Noni. Yes, yeah, they speak Noni, but we are all a family uh -huh. and we share lots of similarities together. Together. Now, the, the, before we could go. Now, the question which I wanted to ask you before you gave your response was that I am quite amazed that you are young and you offer folk or local music, uh, yes. which is what most people of your age don't are not interested uh, in. Yes. But now tell us, where did you grow? Did you grow up in, in Yaoundé so. or there in Salt? So? Oh, right. I grew up in Salt, so, like 100%. Okay. And is that the reason why you like, seem to be attached to the I'm tradition? So, I'm so attached to our culture, to my roots. That is from nursery school to, to up, opposite. Good. In Salt. So. Right. <laughs> now, there is something I would like you because people were so impressed last year, right? I know, right. And could you bring us, because you told us there's one song you sang here, mm -hmm. which was what your grandmother was singing. <coughs> Can you sing it again? Okay, uh, okay. We lo jakem kake kobam, yo. Kire kire sabulaka, yo. Angambi agabam satan laka. In fact, let me just leave this one for now. For now right? <laughs> yes, my grandmother used to sing. Now I'm singing my own. Yeah, which is, what, what is, which is yours? Okay, in fact, the second album that I, I was, I've been cooking for three years is out. It's, it's out, it's, right. it's a good news for me because my fans are going to get another part of Chile. But there's a song that I just recorded yesterday on chronic kidney disease mm -hmm. because uh, Cameroon will be receiving other African countries. Mm -hmm. But yeah, before you come on to the chronic, chronic clean, I want you to this and a different song. That's what I want before I come to the chronic clean. Okay, and the song you mean part of my second album? Yes. All right, I'll be singing a, a song that I did. It's it's it was titled Unity. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and why Unity? This song I did, a lot of people ask me questions on this song. I did this song before the then crisis. Though some people attach it to the then crisis that, you know... The current crisis. The current crisis. Yeah. But I did this song because I, I realized unity, being together with people is just what... It's what important. Very important. And unity is love, and unity begins at home. 
You need to be united even with your children, with your husband, with your family members. You don't go and you're united with the world and you're not attached back from your family uh, foundation. So I just think we should be together. We should stand firm and, you know, we can fight the okay. common enemy. Can, can we have a cappella for the unity song? Unity is strength, no be lie, my brother, together and easy find, because no one hand can tie a bundle low. Unity is strength, my brother, together and easy find, because no one hand can tie a bundle low. Unity is strength, no be lie, my sister, together and easy find, because no one hand can tie a bundle low. Unity, why oh, why oh. from you uh chili so that was great now uh you were before you i will ask some questions on the reasons why you sang this particular track and the title is unity yes apparently you came here with an objective that is to talk about kidney diseases disease right okay yeah so, but tell us do you have somebody who is a victim of it or you just want to do a kind of promotion kind of raising the awareness of Cameroonians and the dangers uh, that poses kidney disease? Okay, apart from the fact that I, I promote our cultural identity, I'm equally uh, an advocate for positive music. So I sing a lot of music that sensitize, like my second album has good powerful tracks and one of them is Knock Out Malaria. And yesterday, I just uh, did another song on chronic kidney disease mm -hmm. because Cameroon will be receiving uh, other African countries to sensitize the population on the, the disaster that this kidney chronic disease can, can cause. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it was just yesterday that you decided to compose it? Uh, I want to say the, the doctor in charge, and Dr. Nzana contacted me. She works in Douala. Mm -hmm. She contacted me because there's a whole team that is working on it. And I told them that, okay, I could do a song for them. All right. And they, they, they were interested in the, in the proposal. And that was very fast. Yesterday, and you've done something already. And it's so good. Okay, now let's see. Let's try and see. Can you sing it here? Yes, we can do a live oh, uh, A live show. A live show All on right. it. <laughs> Thank you. I would, I would appreciate it. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 oh, ah, yeah, yeah. I will be talking to you about something, chronic kidney disease. I will be singing to you about something, ah, uh, chronic kidney disease. We can all prevent this monster, chronic kidney disease. We can stay away from this killer. 
listen chronic kidney disease is a condition characterized by the gradual loss of kidney function over time I'll be singing to you now about the causes of this disease I'll be talking to you now about the causes of this disease brother do you know diabetes is a cause ah uh, do you know high blood pressure causes it is your family related to this disease are you 75 from the ball then you are the risk oh do you take tobacco you are the risk oh stop taking the roadside drugs stop taking the excess yourself n'est pas bon excess de sucre n'est pas bon excess de sel n'est pas bon de le tabac new gravement Chim tun boi tum bi me de leng wan zu ba Chim tun boi tum bi me de leng wan zu la ro ni ki wo la yu ri mo e ya mo la te si mo e chu mo ye ya si wan zu si ba na u so ni so ni mo yo i love you how you do wo yu ri ni e he ho symptoms listen Go. Symptoms, symptoms of this disease. Hey, symptoms, symptoms of this disease. I say your body it is swell, your face it is swell, your abdomen it is swell, every part of you it is swell, swell. When you the peace, it is hot. Your urine the tongue are blue black. I say stroke the catch you hello you can't even know Everybody listen Chili has a good news for you We can all prevent this chronic kidney disease Chuk 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 Azikizaka 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 zama Azikizaka Do you know your number? Yes, I do. 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 Do you know your number? Oh, do you know your score? Yes, I. How oh, do you know your test? Run, 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 run every day. Every day, my brother, you must run, 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 run every day. Shh. You must take a balanced diet. Every day, oh, drink water, plenty. Every day, brother, if you don't smoke, I beg, make you stop. Oh, hey, no, they buy medicine for corner Oh, you must run, 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 run every day. Oh. You must run, 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 run every day. It's the summit. You must run. You must run, run, run every day, every day, every day. Oh. that was very good and i think uh, we really appreciate what you have done and we have be great we this was purely musical you came here to write to sensitize people yes. and now to conclude if you had one message because it was actually this question because we are already running out of time, time. yes because just 26 minutes oh my god yeah, yeah. all right <laughs> never mind no, the, the one message is that the question is the music on this kidney 
and unity. What really made you to do it rapidly so we could run off? Okay, because I have a concern about issues around me, around about issues that concern humanity, issues that affect my brothers and sisters, and I think singing is a tool through which they can easily get the message stuck on their heads. Okay. So, yeah. And a kidney? You said it was Dr. Nzana who gave you a command yesterday. Yes. And you did it today. I did the song yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. And you, this is, I think we have the, 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 we, this is the first place you are doing it, right? This is the first place. Okay. And the second place is my concert, Aqua Palace, on the 6th of May. Great. Extravaganza Cultural Night. You'll be having more of Chile. I love you. I'm Chile237 on Instagram, Chile on Facebook, Chile on Twitter. Thank you We're very together. much. Thank you very much, Chile. And it is on that that we'll be putting an end to the forum for today. But please do not go away. Stay tuned on programs on Canal de English. And I think coming next will be Michelle Foncha with PG News.